Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I'm doing something I never did before, but I got an idea. I was in Costco's a few weeks ago. Walking through there, just seeing what they have and what new they stuff they got. But Costco has some nice things. You know, I never did a review on Costco, but I like Costco. They have nice, unique them things they don't have anywhere else. But I saw they had a... Uh, uh, Ravioli lasagna. And I looked at the price and it said twenty something dollars and my bells just went off in my head. It said I can make that probably better and fresher than twenty eight dollars. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna make my lasagna like I always make, but I'm gonna use ravioli noodles right here that I get from H E B. These are fresh ones, y'all. He's not the frozen. These are one. I'm gonna just. I'm not gonna have to boil them off or nothing. Cause I'm gonna cook them right into right in the uh, oven with the sauce. So anyway, let's get the sauce going here first. And then we'll talk a later what I'm doing here. Why? Well, cause I got my pot heated up. Now I'm making a lot of meat sauce. Y'all know when I make lasagna, I like a lot of a lot of meat sauce. All right. So we'll get this going on here. Hey, I got a little something. We was, I was having a little debate with a, another friend of mine. It, 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 it kind of makes sense. And some people don't think the way I think. I, I'm an overthinker. Y'all see the ground beef in here. Y'all notice I didn't wash my ground beef. And I want to know how many people out there wash their ground meat. Probably none of y'all, right? Now, let me tell y'all something about the inside, the little inside chips and stuff of meat and meat markets. When you ground meat, it's made out of ground chuck, a ground, uh, 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 inside round, ground shoulder. It's, it's the shoulder, it's either a shoulder clog or inside round. Some of these, some people use brisket. Now, this same meat here, if you saw it in the store, in the package, that's not ground. It's whole chuck, whole shoulder. Stuff like that. If you brought it home, would you wash it before you cooked it? Most people say yes, I'm gonna wash it before I cook it. Now my thing is, it's the same meat. The ground meat is the same meat, but it's just in a different form. Why you don't wash the ground meat, really, really wash it in the water, if you do the whole meat? It's the same meat, same procedure, everything. Same way with chicken breast. Some people, of course, if I'll do it too if it looks slimy, whatever whole chicken breast they'll wash the chicken breast off before they cook it but they some chicken breast if you get ground chicken you know, I know ground chicken is in the store it's the same chicken breast all they do is grind it up that same chicken breast that you wash but they grind it but when you get that chicken breast at home that's ground already do you wash it in the water and wash it in the sink most people know so why would you wash the whole when you would what would you won't wash the ground I'm telling you, it's a, it's a little psychological thing. People say, you need to wash all your meat or whatever. But I know very, very seldom few people that wash their ground meat, wash their ground turkey, wash their ground uh, chicken. Very few. So why would you do one and not do the other? That was the debate me and my chef friend were going back and forth. I say it's a psychological with some people thinking they should do one thing and shouldn't do another. Do I wash meat? Yeah, I wash it. When it needs to be washed, I've been cooking so long enough. I know when meat needs to be washed and when it doesn't need to be washed. So that's a little thing I want y'all to think about. Why you don't wash your ground meat in the water, you know, really scrub it down if you're going to do the meat. If you're going to scrub down the chicken breast, why you don't scrub down the chicken breast that's been ground up? It's the same meat, same procedure, nothing's different in it. It's just in a different form. So it's something for y'all to think about. But anyway, I'm going to step off, get this ground off, and then we're going to add the other items together, and we're going to put this together. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. I know I got all y'all y'all thinking, don't you? I bet people are saying, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> some people probably went over their head. I love debating that with people because it makes them think. Yeah. So anyway, I put some salt and pepper in here already, y'all. I'm going to put a little taverners in here. Little cavenders. All righty, gonna mix that up in there. And I'm not gonna drain this, y'all, because it don't have a lot of fat on it. 
because I got a 90-10 blend they do for me. I do a 90-10 blend where I don't have to drain my meat. So anyway, got that in there. Next thing I'm going to put in here, I'm going to put some diced tomatoes in here. I'm just making a regular meat sauce like I do for my spaghetti and my, uh, and my lasagnas. So get that in there. I'm gonna put some tomatoes in there, y'all. And y'all already know how I feel about uh, meat sauce, especially for the lasagnas and things like that, y'all. I do not like this tomato sauce I'm putting in here now. I do not like a loose sauce, watery sauce. And of course, I'm gonna thicken it up later here with tomato paste, if y'all already know, if you didn't follow me or not. Okay, got that all mixed up together. Now I'm gonna add tomato paste in here, which is gonna be a natural thickener if y'all been following me or not. Cause some people, I've seen them many, many times, y'all. They will, uh... hold on y'all. They will cook this down and they'll put a sauce like this in the lasagna or in the spaghetti and the sauce is just running all over the place. It's not clinging to the pasta. I like my sauce to cling to my pasta. So. The key is tomato paste here. Got some tomato paste I already opened it. I used for something else. I don't know what it is a couple of days ago for a video I did. I don't know what video it was. Probably ain't even come out yet. Y'all know I got about 30 videos already ahead here. Sometimes I forget what is what. Okay. Because I cook every day, so I usually do, I told y'all how I do it. I do five or six videos in a day. So we going to mix this up. See how they're sticking it up, y'all? That's why I like my sauce to be. Get all that tomato paste really, really incorporated in there. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to put a little, I don't even have to taste it because I know I'm going to need a little sugar in here. A little sugar in here, y'all. To uh, balance off the bitterness of the tomato of the tomato paste. We'll stir that up in there. Now I'm gonna let this simmer y'all about 10, 15 minutes. And we're gonna come back. And then we're gonna build this lasagna. Very simple y'all, you see how simple this sauce is? If you wanna put Italian seasoning in here, you can. Some kind of herbs, you can. But I keep it simple as I can. Let me taste this here to make sure. I make me I don't know, I don't use a lot of seasoning and all that. Oh yeah. Plus it's not necessary. We just want to hand stuff. You don't want to mash the flavor of your meat or your fish, anything you're cooking. You want to bring the flavor out. So anyway, y'all I'm gonna let this simmer a little bit and then we're gonna move over and we're gonna build this lasagna, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, we're gonna switch here to the ladle here because we're gonna have to ladle our sauce in the bottom of the pan. Look how that, see that nice sauce? That's the nice, that's how thick you want it. You don't want to run every sauce when you do lasagna spaghetti. That's perfect right there on some plate of spaghetti. Put some of that on there. All you need is a little garlic in here. That's the only thing I'm mixing, but it's okay. Okay, let's move over here to the, to the pan here. My uh, lasagna dish. And we're gonna build this up. Now, all the only cheeses I use in my lasagna, I got mozzarella, parmesan, and cottage cheese. Some people use ricotta. I don't use ricotta for two reasons. I don't like ricotta. Number two, it doesn't spread easy on the lasagna. It's more difficult. Cottage cheese, to me, it spreads a lot, a lot easier when you're building a lasagna. The first thing I'm gonna do here, y'all, give me a drip plate. We're gonna put a little salt. I like to put sauce on the bottom first. Okay. And just around in there in the bottom there. Next thing I'm gonna do, I got my little ravioli. I think I'm gonna put it the flat side down here. And this is just regular three cheese, four cheese, what is it? Three cheese rav cheese ravioli, y'all. That's all it is. Put it down in the bottom. I'm gonna do a few layers here, y'all, and I'm gonna step off, and I'm gonna finish it off. Just show you a couple of layers here. 
Like I said, it's the first time I ever did it, but it's the same concept, y'all, as the regular lasagna. You're just using a different pasta. So, yeah. Okay. Now, what's next here? I'm going to put some more sauce on here, and then we're going to do our cheesy thing. I think the cheese uh, stays better on the lasagna. And it got a little meat sauce on it. Okay. Now, put my uh, cottage cheese on here. Like I say, it's not science, rocket science how you put this on here. And another thing, I think the cottage cheese it spreads better, y'all, than uh, ricotta. Rocata, as you can say it in the, like the Italian say it. Okay, mozzarella, or like they said, mozzarella. Mozzarella. There we go. A little parmigiana. Parmigiana. Y'all know I didn't put a lot of salt and pepper in my lasagna because, uh, in my meat sauce because I have, a. Uh, salt in the cheese do one more layer then we're gonna step off here y'all and we're gonna finish this thing off i'm not gonna bore y'all here showing y'all how to put a lasagna together because we've all made lasagna before i'm just using a different noodle okay like i said i'm using the flat side down y'all i think a little bit better okay Little meat sauce on him. Meat sauce there. There we go. A little bit more. Spread this across in here. There we go. There we go, y'all. Now I'm gonna finish building this up, y'all. And we'll be back when I got it finished to go in the oven. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, that's it, y'all. Very simple. Put the other layer on there. We end with the cheese. We're going to put this in the oven, uncovered. For about 45 minutes, y'all, till it's really, really good. Because I got to cook them. Even though the pasta's cooked, uh, it's fresh pasta. It's not a fro. It's not a dried pasta, so it don't take as long as y'all know. Dried pasta doesn't take as long. I mean, fresh pasta doesn't take as long as dried pasta. So we're going to put it in the oven. 355, 355, you can do 3, 355, 350 degrees about 45 minutes. I might go an hour, give it a hot look, and I'm going to do it uncovered, y'all. So, anyway, you know what, y'all? I'm going to do it my old traditional way. I'm not going to take a chance. Hold on, y'all, just a second. Get this thing out the way. I'm going to do it covered for the first 20 minutes. And then, hold on, y'all. I'm gonna do it cover the first 20 minutes and then I'll take it off and uncover it, y'all. Just, just so the cheese don't get too dark. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Lasagna fresh out the oven. Look at it, y'all. Still bubbling hot. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. That nice sauce in there. And once it's cool off, I'm gonna let it, I like to let it cool off like a half an hour, y'all. And then all them juices absorb down in there. And all them juices you see, that's going to kind of absorb down in there. And, and uh, I want it to cool off when I get a nice, good cut out of here. Of course, it's ravioli, so it's not a flat pasta like the regular uh, lasagna. But I want a nice, flat cut when I cut into it. So anyway, y'all, this was so simple to put together. See how you just put together lasagna? Meat sauce takes no time. You can come home from work in less than an hour. You got meal on the table, really, in less than two hours. It takes about uh, 15, 20 minutes to put it together. Another 45 minutes in the oven. So about an hour and a half, you'll have meal on the table. Get some good garlic bread, nice Caesar salad. You got a full meal, and this will feed five, six people easily in your family. So, And it's not really expensive. The ground meat sauce costs me about... 
pay me six bucks with everything in it. Ravioli cost me seven dollars and fifty cents. And that's and the cheeses, maybe another four or five dollars for the cheeses. So shoot, you're looking at 14, 15 bucks. You got to fill a meal. And the one in Costco was twenty three dollars, twenty three, twenty five dollars. And it was this big. It was half of this size, y'all. So anyway, just showing you a little way to cut corners and feed your family. So anyway, we'll be right back once it's cooled off and I cut it. We'll see how it is. First time I ever made it with cheese ravioli. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Look at this here, y'all. That's how you do it. Let it set up by 30 minutes. And let that all that nice juice go back into that pasta. Because when you take out the oven, it's going to be a lot of juice on top. Sauce. And then it'll eventually sink back down into the pasta. And this is what you got, y'all. Big old plate. Of course, I got a big plate of it. So let's go in here, y'all. We know it's cheese out ravioli. So I'm going to cut it open here. I'm just trying to see that cheese in there. See that cheese in that ravioli? Get a little piece of meat there. Let's see if we get a good bite here. Look at that there. Oh, my God, y'all. Mmm. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm never making uh, lasagna the traditional way again. Never. Reason is, we got all that cheese in this pasta. Look at that, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Like I told y'all, I've had cheese to uh, ravioli before. But never in a lasagna form. It's a game changer. Game changer for me. Oh my God. Like I tell y'all, you can get some garlic bread. Look at that cheesy lasagna. I mean, cheesy ravioli. Mm. Mm. You can use any kind of ravioli. You know, got spinach ravioli, butterscotch, butterscotch, butternut spot. I can't talk, y'all. I'm just overwhelmed how good this is. I'm going to try a different kind. Spinach would be good with this. I cannot stop eating it. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's good, y'all. Absolutely amazing. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Like I say, if y'all got, uh, you know, H-E-B, they have the fresh ravioli in the, right over there by the, uh, actually, it's right by the fruit and vegetables, right over in that area. If, you, if you're if from Texas here and get an H-E-B, but in your store, I don't know where they keep it, but this is fresh. I need another bite, y'all. Mm. So try it this way. Very simple. I'm telling you. Even though I got a big portion here, you can feed one, two, three, four, five, six, five to six people with this. Do something else with a salad, garlic bread. Very cheaper than paying $23 at Costco for this. I just tripped out. I said, I can make this myself. The, the, the bell just went off. So, anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.